Happy Halloween and welcome to this very special episode of Everyday iTech. Today, in spirit of the holidays, we are going to be taking a look at a Halloween themed iPhone and iOS 26 setup that you can apply to your device. There's a bunch of Halloween eggs, so let's get started. All right, so starting off, can we talk about this live wallpaper? It's so, so, so cool. And if you do want it, I'll put a link down below in the description so you guys can see over here. It is a live wallpaper. Got a little sound effect too, which is really, really cool. But anyways, this over here is the full video that got transformed. So you can see this is a peace sign too. And on TikTok, you guys can see this lady was able to get the full thing on the live wallpaper. I don't know how exactly, but I'll put this link down below in the description as well. I still think it turned out really, really cool. And check out this one as well, which has a really cool Halloween theme as well going on. So you guys can see it's like very, very 3D. So that is awesome. If you guys know how to get these ones working, or if I figure it out in the future, I'll let you guys know, but leave it down below in the comments. And check out this one over here too. That's really cool if you want to turn this into a live wallpaper. And this is their spider one too, so I think that's really awesome. So yeah, I'll put all these links down below in the description if you guys do want to check them out. But yeah, I think it makes for a really, really cool little vibe. So you got Stitch right there and some other characters as well. Now, up next, let's go and customize our iPhones even further. On the air over here, you guys can see I have a really, really cool wallpaper, and you can make this spatial as well. So you want to download this app in the app store called Miko. That's M-I-C-O. So once you have this installed, you can go ahead and open it up. And yes, you can use it completely for free, although there are ads going to skip through them. But anyways, right here, you guys can see that there's a section called Halloween. So go going to tap on into there. And first off, you got custom widgets that you can add to your home screen. So you're just going to go and add any one of these. And the steps are very simple. You just add it to your widgets on your home screen, just like a regular widget. So there's a bunch of really cool ones like this one and the battery icon and there's so many more so it's really pretty awesome they're having a little campfire and there's just a lot of cool ones as you guys could see and anyways you guys can see there are also themes so right now if i go back i can see i have a whole custom icon look so you could go in and just add these two and it's really really easy it's literally just like one click so let's go back to the app and you guys can see they are complete with their own widgets as well now that one's a premium one so you don't have to pay for that but anyways go and try out a different one. Oh god 666 okay i'm not gonna do that one holy crap all right, I literally got like a ritual going right, bro. Ooh, bro, shut up, shut up, bro. Give it some time to load. Oh my god, it's gonna try to get privileges, bro. Anyways, I'm gonna go in and try out this one over here. So let's go and click on it, dude. Are all these? Bro. Shut up. You're not a real ghost. Anyways, I'm going to go and tap on this one over here. And you guys see it has loads of cool icons as well. So it's one click to apply. Just tap that button. Take your time. All right. And finally, we are this green. All you got to do is tap on this blue download button. It'll ask you to install a profile. So simply click on allow. And it'll say a profile download. Close. You can exit out of here. And now we want to open up the settings application. Now let's go down to general and scroll all the way back down to VPN and device management. That option right over there. Go and tap on into there. There's that profile. We're just going to tap on install. Type in our passcode. And just like that, hit install. Boom. It's done. Let's go and hit that check mark. Exit out of here. And now we have those brand new icons, as you guys could see. So these are fully functional. For example, I'm going to click on camera. And it will open up the camera app. I'm going to use this, this icon pack now. So it's going to tap on Snapchat. And boom. It opens up just like that as well. So anyways, back to Miko. And I'm not sponsored, by the way. Anyways, you guys can see that we have these wallpapers as well. So they look really, really awesome. And you got to get that 3d look effect too with spatial scene and you got zootopia i think that is and this uh voodoo doll or whatever that is oh my god and there's just loads of other wallpapers that you can add that are a ton of fun so let's jump into photos and there is that wallpaper right there so i'm going to tap on enable spatial scene just to show you guys what it looks like right there so you can see that it looks really really cool it gives that 3d look and you can put this on your lock screen as well now speaking of snapchat if you go ahead and open it up there are is are is is a new halloween tab and you guys can see we got a bunch of Halloween themed lenses. So that is really cool. So let's go and see if I could do this. No, my mic's right there. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. I am, uh, what, what is this, bro? Uh, it even works with the eyelashes. I mean, eyelids. So that is really cool. So I changed my gender and also I would say ethnicity, but this is a whole different planet. So yeah, this is really, really cool. There's a bunch of themes that you guys could go over here with the Halloween. And yeah, how do I look with black lipstick, guys? Okay, no, let's keep going. Keep going. Open your mouth. Oh God. Ah, whoa. Ah, what? Ah, ah, whoa. Ah, 
What? That's crazy, bro. And we also got my pet raven. It's kind of hard to do on camera, but hey, little buddy. All right, since we're already talking about Snapchat, let's move into Instagram now to show you guys some little hidden Easter egg ha Halloween eggs. So first off, if you go to post a story, let's go into this picture of art. <laughs> Art. Okay, why does the interface look different? I'm gonna go to my main account. All right, so add a story and let's go ahead and do this one, for example. So first off, if you go to add text, there's now a new ghost text. So here's what that looks like. So, okay, that actually looks pretty darn cool. But wait, there's more. If you're going to tap on the sticker option right here and choose a photo, you can now choose any picture just like this one. And yeah, I could see now it's in a pumpkin and I go and tap on it again right here to change it. And you can also turn it into a bat. So that is really awesome look at that and this is really cool if you go to add a note you guys can see right there going to tap right here now i'm going to tap right here again you could use one of these three halloween themed dialogues so yeah, i can see how cool that looks so if you use any one of these let's go ahead and put some text boom just like that and watch what happens when i share okay so i'm going to share and look at that. That is so, so cool. Now, if you go to google.com, it has an interactive Pac-Man game, which is really, really awesome. You're going to tap on this and you're going to start the game and play Pac-Man on Google inside Safari. So you can see I am in Safari. That is crazy. All right, here we go. You just swipe and it works. What? Bro. <laughs> Dude, this is Safari on Google. Bro, this is the coolest Google uh the halloween theme that has ever been existed uh, my english okay <laughs> all right dim the lights Ooh, bro you're a freaking whale all right anyways you could do a harry potter spells on your iphone using siri which is really really cool ready watch this guys so i'm gonna activate siri lumos oh <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Look at that. It activated the flashlight. So that's the spell to basically activate light with a wand. So you can do that on your iPhone, which is basically a wand too. So that's super, super cool. And watch this. I can also turn it off. Nox. Bro. Lumos. Nox. Bro. <laughs> you can also use the spell Accio and then tell it to do whatever you want on your iPhone or have most things. So watch this. Ready? Accio. Open photos. Ah! Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and last but not least, custom ringtones. So down below in the description, I will have this link. Not, do I really need to link Google? No, I don't. Okay, I'm getting carried away. Anyways, I will have this link to Zedge. So you can see it has Halloween-themed music. So... This is Halloween. <laughs> is this the... Michael Myers, <laughs> bro. So let's do this one, for example. I'm going to tap on into here, and there's a download button. So if you just tap on download, preparing download. Ah, uh, this is so painful to wait, bro. Come on. Boo. Ah, okay. All right. Anyways, we're back over here. Let's go ahead and click on download. And my phone vibrated. It's going to the download section right over here. Yeah, I can see I already downloaded it before. So if you tap on the little magnifying glass, it does pop up in the files app. So there it is right over there. And I guess I'm also playing it in my control center. Anyways, on iOS 26, you can just go and tap and hold on this tap on the share button if it pops up like this for you just hit on more use as ringtone so tap on that option and now it brought us straight to our ringtones but then sounded haptic inside settings it vibrates too with it that is so cool. So that is my ringtone for now. All right. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean the world if you guys subscribed and liked this video. And stay tuned for tons more amazing content. This is Everyday I Tech. Enjoy your Halloween. Later. Jon Snow the third.